What's up YouTube? It's your reality junkie here. Today we're gonna talk about Joe Rogan and we're gonna look at when he debunks chemtrails with chemtrails. He's a fucking genius, uh, that Joe Rogan guy. So, I made a video. I'm gonna um, check it out now. I'm gonna shut up and you listen and watch carefully. Listen, watch carefully, listen, watch carefully. Okay? And, um, you know, it's not a secret that Joe used to be a conspiracy theorist and and then now he's not, you know, and I don't know if that's ever happened in the history of man, but go from not trusting the government to trusting them. I don't know. So, oh. dude, I talked to your buddy, Eddie Bravo, and that guy is a real. He's out there. <laughs> that guy's out there. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I do know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> He'll hit you with too much information, man. It was crazy. You have a lot of people to Google. I was like, I want to climb through a black hole right now. Look look and do a, a Casey documentaries yeah. and shit. Like, wait a minute, is this guy legit? When those one AM phone calls come in, you do oh, not no. respond because you will get you will get a wall of text explaining which YouTube video has the right information and which one is set up by the CIA. Yeah. You know, you'd hear the craziest shit in yeah, the world. Right. Yeah. No, he loves all of it. He loves it. Like, yeah. He was really into chemtrails for a while, but Man, I, I know he probably won't admit it, but it's pretty obvious chemtrails are bullshit. Yeah. Pretty fucking obvious. Chemtrail thing is just, it's just nonsense. Chemtrail thing is just, it's just nonsense. There's, there is some evidence that they have experimented with spraying stuff in the sky, and they definitely seed clouds in certain parts of the world, in mm -hmm. certain parts of the country. You know, they can make it rain. A lot of people still deny the reality of it. They think it's exclusive to cloud seeding. If you type in weather weapons treaty into Google, you'll get a pre-filled in search result. It opened for signature on May 18, 1977 in Geneva and entered into force on October 5, 1978. The convention bans weather warfare, which is the use of weather modification techniques for the purposes of inducing damage or destruction. Let's take a look at this UN Weather Weapons Treaty. But again, this is just for the deniers of everything. There's people like like deny anything. They deny everything exists. They send to... jets up there? Yeah. Yeah, they send jets and they spray into the clouds and something silver iodine or something like that. Is that what it is? They spray into the clouds and somehow or another it uh, makes it rain. Yeah, they spray shit and it makes it rain. Silver iodine or something like that. Is that what it is? Chemtrail thing is just, it's just nonsense. They spray into the clouds and somehow or another it uh, makes it rain. Okay, so we just watched uh, your Rogan. Um, say that they spray shit and they make it rain. That's a, an exact quote. They spray shit and they make it rain. So what are they spraying? They're spraying silver iodide. Let's go into the National Institutes of Health .gov. Okay? And it's funny. Now they have a National Drug and Alcohol Facts Week. Teens learn facts about drug use from scientific expert shares and where's my fucking uh, spliff uh, I want to take a like a good line of cocaine right now don't overdo it shares so let's see what the National uh, Institute of Health has to say about silver iodide Okay, same website, I've looked at all of these, oh there's Toe Rogan again, but never mind. Hazard summary, I'm, I'm sorry if this is boring, but yeah, the, the major hazards encountered in the use of handling of silver iodide stem from its toxicological properties. It's very toxic. Toxic by all routes, it says. You see that? Here we go. Inhalation, ingestion and dermal contact, exposure to this odorless light yellow crystalline substance may occur from its use in seeding clouds for rain making. <sighs> Effects 
from exposure may include skin rashes, conjunctivities, and orguria, a permanent ashen grey discoloration of skin and internal organs. What the fuck, man? Headache, fever, hypersensitivity, laryngitis, and bronchitis. I don't even know what that means, but that, these two words sound fucking horrible. <laughs> Exposure should be minimized by engineering controls. Okay? And the, the workers should wear impervious clothing, gloves, face protection, and self-contained breathing apparatus. Like a fucking astronaut, handling, they got their own oxygen. They got a spacesuit on to handle this. I'm not even gonna continue. You can look this up for yourself, you lazy motherfuckers. I'm so tired of people who are so fucking... They are so... <sighs> Let's continue. Dude, Joe, if airplanes spray the sky with chemicals, that means... Pretty obvious chemtrails are bullshit. Yeah. Pretty fucking obvious. You know, when Eddie came, when I was talking with Eddie, one thing I was thinking about was, oh, do you think that robots will get so advanced that they will will like become aware what does he say oh i don't know what he said i guess i'm i'm asking you because oh. he went off on something else and he didn't oh. really answer it he said yeah, he doesn't get too much think about artificial it, intelligence you know? he's more into like the fbi trying to fuck us over <laughs> <laughs> no joke he said uh he had to be a little bit quiet because he thinks that some people could be <laughs> looking for him oh that's so crazy dude he thought that the government got to me He's like, there's got, there's got to be a reason here. Did they do anything they, to you? No. No. You swear? I swear. I swear to God, I will make fun of that crap to the end of time. <laughs> I'll make up stories. I'll, I'll lie to my mother. I don't care. No one's talked to me about anything, ever. No one said, hey, man, lay off the Bigfoot. <laughs> lay off that Bigfoot talk. <laughs> what? what? What are you saying? I'm just saying, if you want to know. You know what I mean? Yeah. And who else wouldn't think that? I mean, right. a lot of people think that. I get that. You know what I mean? It's not that crazy. He's super famous. And crazy famous. And now he's got a, a, a influential podcast. Um, it wouldn't shock me. Yeah, people, no. people get suicided. So a little talking to. Duncan that, asked him. That's not that crazy. Podcast. That's not that crazy. Really? So, oh, yeah. I saw that. He, get, that. he says he got a little nervous with Dun him. Duncan just confronted him. He's just like, hey, man, I'm worried about you. You're too big. You know, you have too big of a voice. Yeah. They spray shit and it makes it rain. And, um, you know, it's not a secret that Joe used to be a conspiracy theorist and, and then now he's not, you know, and I don't know if that's ever happened in the history of man, but go from not trusting the government to trusting them. I don't know. So, and why did you switch from being a conspiracy theorist to believing government uh, official stories? Oh. And then I go, I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if someone talked to him, to be honest. Okay. Time out, time out. Okay, guys, I just wanted to finish off with the, these words. I don't... Uh, and uh, some people say that they spray aluminum, barium, and strontium. If you ask me, like, I have no idea what they're spraying. I have no idea. Maybe you can help me out. Uh, but I can obviously see when I look up in the sky that they're spraying some shit. I don't know what it is and I don't know why. They say it's because they want to block the sunlight because of global warming, you know? Um, but to be honest, I have no idea why or uh, what they are spraying so yeah it's getting late guys I wanna go to bed no I don't wanna go to bed fuck it I'ma edit another